instead of stating a kind of cumbersome theorem uh, which will uh, provide us with the test uh, for checking the uh, critical point, uh, let me provide an a couple of examples how we employ the bodied Hessian matrix. Uh, first of all, uh, we are considering a problem where a function of n variables is either maximized or minimized subject to m constraints in the form of equations. Now, we have already found the critical point of Lagrangian. Our Lagrangian is a function and let's suppose uh, the critical point was found of L. We proceed with filling in the bodied Hessian matrix H tilde, which is um, as earlier uh, is a square matrix of the size n plus m times n plus n, which can be split into four blocks. Uh, in that uh, left upper corner, we put all zeros. Here we fill in the rows with the gradients of the constrained functions. So we have gradient of G1, gradient Gn, and here we simply transpose this border and uh, these rows uh, become uh, the columns. Uh, the main block, which is a square matrix of the size n times n, is entirely made of second order derivatives of the Lagrangian function, so we differentiate with respect to x. So this is our bodied Hessian matrix evaluated uh, at a point x star, lambda star. And now we proceed checking uh, the leading principle minus starting with the biggest. The biggest is h tilde determinant. So we compare the sign of, of this determinant with the sign of minus 1 to the nth power, minus 1 to the nth power, and uh, we proceed along with the scenarios which, is, uh, which were stated in the previous theorem, and on the basis of the patterns of signs uh, we can find, we make, we draw the conclusion that a particular point is either a point of maximum or minimum or neither. For instance, going back to the problem of minimization of the sum of the coordinates subject to constraint. We have found the critical point, which was Um, we also will need, in order to evaluate uh, the body Hessian a lambda star value, uh, we can find the value uh, if we restore one of the first order conditions, for instance, the first one. Then we can find lambda star value, 
which is m raised to the power of negative two thirds. And we are ready to fill in the what it has in matrix in this particular case. That will be a four by four matrix. Um, according to the theorem, we need to calculate the signs of n minus m leading principal minus starting with the biggest. So that gives us um, two values because n is three and m is one. So we need to find two determinants only here. The border will consist of the first row and the first column. And we will eat at a given point. So that's how we get and the same for the first column, the same values. Now, second order derivatives, we need to fill in the uh, main block. Uh, second order deri derivative with respect to one variable only uh, will be zero for all three uh, derivatives. Now, in order to find, to fill in the gaps, let's find d squared L over dx dy. What do we get? We get minus lambda star z star, which is, let us calculate, we get And we get the same uh, for the rest of the derivatives. That's how we get 